I started at Credit Sites in August 2009. I started at Credit Sites at the end of August 2010. April of 2012. October of 2014. I started Credit Sites in 2004, so it's been a long career. Started on 1st of April 2003, so I've been here over 17 years now. The, the idea really started kicking around back when the internet became a thing. And we were all on Wall Street. And we thought, you know, why don't we finally try to take that plunge that everyone talks about? And I was speaking to some friends who had started an online uh, credit derivatives trading platform. Back then, the idea was that if you could put research on your platform, uh, you would be able to attract customers and you would be able to do some trading. I mentioned it to Glenn and he said, wow, that sounds pretty interesting. In 99, the seed was planted, but we really didn't start watering it in a big way until 2000. He and I had this conversation together and we realized pretty quickly that we could just do it ourselves. The thing that probably helped us survive was, you know, basically things like Enron, the crash of the markets, a lot of things going on, which made Wall Street go radio silent. Those are the greatest opportunities for a firm like ours to say what you're thinking and say why. So I guess the period that really stands out for me is the financial crisis. And it was just such a volatile period. We were all writing 24 hours a day, nonstop, following the collapse of Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, AIG. You know, the entire financial system globally was in upheaval. The big time that we realized that was becoming a global crisis was the failure of Northern Rock in September 2007. And our ability to be supportive to the market and to be providing good quality information uh, into the market, I think was extremely valued during that period. Mr. Reynolds. The Washington part was a little bit crazy. Originally, I was just a fact-finding source for some of them. They were just saying, hey, what the heck's going on? And I started to give them my uh, chapter and verse version of what goes on, you know, when they're making the sausage on the other side. When we look at where we go from here, uh, basically the disclosure and, and, and documents have been what we've been focusing on. Full disclosure, we are a subscriber to credit sites, so they're not a rating agency, um, but they provide independent, you know, high quality credit research. There was a troubled Portuguese bank, Banco Espirito Santo, and we spent the best part of a year in 2014 constantly on the phone to clients, trying to evaluate where we thought that bank was going, which was in distress. We had so much client inquiry that the team decided to do a webinar. On that webinar itself, we had 400 individuals dialed into that call, live listening to our analysts. The market in many ways disagreed with us, but we held on firm to our view. It involved a lot of research, a lot of client calls. It was really then that I saw how quickly we could move with the market and how quickly we can get research out um, from a senior level. It was fantastic to see. The London riots, the Brexit vote, it's all big memorable days in the office. When I think about some pivotal moments where we've really pulled together as a team, one that jumps out and is in recent memory is COVID. We were out there right at the beginning talking about risks to the market and how the market might move as a result of the global pandemic. We were making specific buy and sell recommendations and really trying to help our clients make sense out of what at least initially seemed pretty incomprehensible. We've heavily invested in technology uh, over the past three years. We've got a new website, we've got API feeds. I think the next step forward for credit sites is really becoming that integrated solution where we are able to deliver our content in ways that clients want to receive it. In the next five, 10 years at credit sites, I see a lot of growth in ESG. I see a lot of growth in our API solutions. And honestly, that's a testament to the strong relationships that we have across the capital markets. For the clients that pay attention and the clients that need to move fast, need to make decisions quickly, you've been a source of support uh, in streamlining the decision. You know, one of the things that Credit Sites does is distill that market noise into market ideas. We are by far uh, the most important independent voice in the market. Nowhere else do you find such a large team of experienced credit analysts in one place. So our research team has always been in the heart of our organization. They're the hardest working team in the investment community and they are the best at what they do. Happy anniversary, Credit Sites. No more, risk better.